Hello, Year 10. Overview of your lesson today. So this is our second lesson, thinking about Macbeth as a tragic hero. So after you complete your do now, your retrieval practice asks you to try to remember what are Aristotle's four rules of characterization. And this was part of our lesson yesterday, or yep, our last lesson. So just have a look at that if you can't quite remember. So is Macbeth a tragic hero? I wanted to explain why we're talking about this, which is why I've put in this information here. Knowledge of the tragic hero, what we mean by that, is really useful for writing about Macbeth, writing about tragedy, writing about Macbeth's relationship with Lady Macbeth, writing about the supernatural within the play, writing about the theme of agency and individual responsibility, and also writing about how the audience feels towards Macbeth. So we're going to consider these questions when we think about, is Macbeth a tragic hero? We're going to think about, is he good? Can we relate to him? Is he consistent in his behavior? Does he reveal his fatal flaw? And does he evoke or bring forth pity or fear from the audience? So what we have for um, task two is a series of quotations and then tasks. So here we have this quotation here for Brave Macbeth, so on and so forth. Then we have an explanation of what's happening. Macbeth is introduced to us as a hero. His courage and duty are the foundations for his entire reputation, and so on. And then you have your task. And this task says, find and copy three phrases, I'll just underline that for you, from the quotation above that support the characterization of Macbeth as a hero. So, for example, you can definitely choose Brave Macbeth and then copy that down under number one. And then you're going to look at two more phrases. So it might be something that he um, did. Okay, the next one focuses on the question, can the audience relate to Macbeth? And we have this quotation here. Methought I heard a voice cry, sleep no more. Macbeth does murder sleep, the innocent sleep. Then we have an explanation here. And then there's a task there. Next question, we're going to think about, is he consistent in his behavior? So we have several quotations here from different parts of the play. An explanation for you here. And then what I'd like you to do is to highlight the imperatives, the commands in the quotations. So for example, in this one, we have, let me know. And so you'll highlight that. There should be one imperative in each little quotation. Next, does Macbeth reveal his fatal flaw? And remember, it's his ambition that is his fatal flaw. So you're going to read these two quotations here and the explanation. And then here, I thought we'd do a bit of dual coding, draw an image that illustrates the information about Macbeth's ambition. So what kind of image do you think of when you think of Macbeth's ambition? And if you don't want to draw, of course, you can uh, copy and paste some images. And then finally, does Macbeth evoke pity or fear? And we have two quotations here, an explanation here. And I'd like you to explode two quotations. So I'm going to do the first one with you today. Um, and so let's have, I will not yield. So. You can put that in right here. I'll just put this as quotation number one. So when we explode a quotation, we're looking to see what we can say about different parts as we zoom in to the quotation. So to me, this language sounds that he's very determined. An alternative view of that is perhaps he's stubborn. Um, and this is highlighted as shown by the word not. Yield is a verb and it means to give way or to give in. And this also shows his determination. Okay, and so now you just need to choose a second phrase from that quotation and do something similar where you explode it. 
And then finally, um, I put in some really interesting challenge and stretch information for you, for you to have a think about. Really want, not many of you are taking on these challenges and I'd really like to see more of you do this, especially if you're um, aiming for a grade, you know, six or higher. So here's the quotation here. And then is Macbeth tragic because he's simply a puppet to higher authorities? Do you think he is a puppet to fate? Have a think about that. And then you could also think about, is Macbeth a victim? And that would make him a tragic hero. And here we have a quotation that he says here. And this is information, um, according to author Robert Burton, um, he thinks that Macbeth might have, or he doesn't think this bit, but he says that man's melancholy is attributed to many forces. So not just your own decisions that you make, but it can be attributed to the supernatural, to God, to witchcraft, etc. So a question here, do you think that this idea suggests that the less control Macbeth has over his mental health, the more we sympathize? So just a space for you to jot down some notes there. All right, have a good lesson.